So here's a bird feeder I just made out of thrift store glassware. I used dishes and candlesticks and candy dishes and this really pretty plate. And I love this color, so I used this um, yellow and blue theme. And I want to show you how I made this. Okay, so today I'm going to make a bird feeder using these items that I bought at thrift stores. I found this really pretty plate, this blue and yellow plate, so I thought I'd go with um, this color theme. And I'm going to use these blue dishes. I've got um, candy dishes and a blue cup. Candlestick with some gold in it. And um, this blue plate is going to be the top. And then the candlestick is going to go on top. And this will be the seed bowl. Looks like a flower. And then I'm going to use these gems to give it a little sparkle. And I'm going to use JB Weld glue. I like the um, JB Weld clear. Um, it seems to work best for bird feeders. It's pretty strong. And I'm going to use an eye hook for the top. All right, so I'm going to get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hook in the top of this candle holder. This is actually going to go on top of the plate. This is the roof. And I'm going to glue this on top of here, and I'm going to have a hook in the top. Like that. So I'm going to put the hook in here first, and how I do that is I use clay or putty, and I use a white clay or putty, or any color. So I roll it into a ball, and then I put it in the bottom of the candlestick holder like that, and then I'll put the hook in there, and that's just to hold it upright while the epoxy dries. So I put it in there like that. And then, of course, the JB Weld Clear Epoxy has this nice... So the epoxy is real easy to use. You just squeeze it into a cup like that. Just as much as you need. And then stir it. And then just pour it in here. Okay, so I filled it in so it's all the way to the top, so that's nice and strong. I'll let that dry overnight. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gems inside this candlestick here to give it a little extra color, because this is hollow. So I'm going to put these in here. That's really pretty. And I'm going to glue this on top of here. Now since the epoxy is really thin and I, if I put the epoxy right around the edge it would drip down inside there. I'm going to use E6000 first to glue around the edge. And then t when that dries tomorrow I'll go ahead and put epoxy on top of that. So use my E6000. Yeah, E6000 is um, a thicker gel, so it doesn't drip as much, so that's good. So I'll let that dry and um, do the next step. Something else I wanted to mention is that I use a level frequently. 
um, I put this on a flat surface and I uh, wanted to make sure that that was straight so that when I put the roof on it doesn't look crooked so a level comes in handy okay so this is going to be the bottom part of the feeder and this is going to be the bowl that goes on top but I'm also going to put this um, blue bowl underneath it just to give it a little extra color and dimension so I'm going to glue that on here like that All right. using epoxy Okay, so I've got this glued together. It's already drying really well. And I have this glued with the hook in it and the candlestick with the cup. So I'm gonna let these dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll put some more together. Okay, so I let this dry overnight. And um, so this is on here nice and tight. So now I'm going to glue the bowl that will hold the seeds on top of here like this. So I'm going to use epoxy around the bottom here. Set that aside. Okay, so now I'm going to glue um, the candlestick with the hook in it on the bottom of this plate. This is going to be the roof. So I'm going to put this on here and glue that with epoxy. That hardened really nice on the top here. That epoxy works really well. So glue this on here. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then okay so it's been about 30 minutes so that epoxy is dry enough where I can flip it over and I'm going to glue this glass onto here like this and I'm going to glue it upside down so I can make sure it's centered. So I'm going to use a box so that I can lay this flat here so like this. Glue it like that. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit around the edge, around the rim here. So I mixed extra so I could pour some around the edge here. Make sure there's a lot of epoxy. 
Hold this together. Okay, everything is dry, so now I'm going to glue the last part together. I'm going to put this on, in here. I'm going to glue it into the bowl like this with epoxy. And I think that's going to look good. I'm going to pour the extra epoxy around the edges just to fill it in. Okay, so this is finished. I just need to let it dry. And as soon as it's dry, I'll go hang it on a shepherd's hook and see what it looks like out in the garden. And here it is finished. I have it outside here on a shepherd's hook. I think it looks really nice out here. I'm gonna put some seeds in this bowl.